Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Our Taxi episode number 3. Alright, the previous episode we uh, met a few new characters and uh, the idol group we were kind of introduced to them in first episode but we really met them in the like you know in the previous episode and the idol group and also we met uh, Dobu in the end <laughs> he like I, I don't think I can call that a meeting because he was basically pointing a gun at Odokawa but I guess yeah that can be called a meeting so uh, him and also like you know it, it was kind of implied that uh, the alpaca I can't remember her name uh, she likes Odokawa but I think personally that it's not so simple there must be something going on I don't know but I kind of like suspect her but because of, as I said in the previous episode a lot of things he has she probably has contact with Dobu and uh, like you know the whole missing of the uh, drugs from the hospital that thing and a lot of other stuff also uh, like you know there's this uh, during the idol section when we're being shown the idol part uh, the manager the manager it, it seems as if he has some contact with Dobu because he was talking with someone and I'm guessing Dobu was kind of asking him where Odokawa is and like you know if he can find him or not and most probably the manager gave him some kind of an uh, like you know lead and that's why Dobu found Odokawa like all that stuff and we also met homo sapiens uh, you know I think that was the name I'm not sure if that's the group name or if that is like individual name of them but they're called homo sapiens so that group as well and one of them was kind of like you know selected from so for some kind of a show and the other one was not all that stuff so a lot of things happened and let's see what happens now like you know Dobu has a gun and Otokawa is in a problem now what you're going to do let's see so yeah guys without further ado let's get started this is Odd Taxi episode number three so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go All right. I still have a little, what do you call it, suspicion on the idol girl, the who, the one who is you know the black furred cat girl. I don't know why, but let's see. Okay. Poor Odokawa. All right, let's see what, what he does. The greater sauna. Board, plumes, and body burn. Oh, my. oh yeah, this thing also happened. Someone messaged him. He Oh. What? Why? Why? Why does? He, what does he want? Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. Withdrawn. No, they gave up. Oh, oh, what?
Yeah. Wait. <laughs> what the? Who was this guy? Okay. Oh, oh my God! The oh, I felt that. Oh, okay. Was it kidding? Was that just a joke between friends or something? <laughs> oh, that's a <laughs> what? Oh, okay. It's a secret. All right. Boss? With this? That? Oh, that's why! Oh! That's why he came to meet Odokawa. Oh my god, Eiji. Second hand. Yeah. Also, they don't. Don Chan. Okay, so they are in no way involved in that. All right, that's one mystery solved. So Dobu, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is amazing. So I was suspecting them for no reason. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Okay. Nah, no. What the? Okay. It's the daughter of a classmate. Yeah. Only with the big diamond. No. No, I don't think so, no. All right. Okay, so there's another curve. Hmm. Okay, there you go. <laughs> no my boss I had who Yano oh 
Oh, we see it in the opening. Hmm, okay. Okay. Okay, so that's why you contact him. Why? All right, so that's why you contact him. Hmm. <laughs> After all this. Well, he has the SOS written on his. There you go. There you go. Yeah, he is. He did that a long time before. <laughs> wow. Okay. Is this Zymon? Yeah. Which one? Little one or the big one? Same question. What the? This is not. Oh. Which one is it? Hmm. Well, there you go. Whoa, he has. All right. Whoa, what's happening here? Ha, <laughs> 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 yeah. But it, it didn't work because it was dying on. Hmm. Okay, well, that's. Hmm. Yeah. Kaki Hana. Who's that? <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, I knew this was coming.
Oh yeah, she's waiting for him. She told him. Oh God. Oh. What is? Oh. Wait, is this like his hiding place? That seems a bit dangerous, like keeping it in the middle of the... Okay, sh like Shiraka was waiting, so... What the? Whoa! Super rare. Okay. Don. Or uh, maybe. Oh, Don. Okay, this is. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, he's been. Yeah. Afuera. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bollywood. Okay. All right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make shift. Okay, all right. Temper is tough. <laughs> she really did. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Okay, it really seems she likes him. I... Or... All right. Which seems genuine, I guess, but I don't know. <sighs> like the previous scenes kind of, kind of, I think it's throwing us off. So that's why I still cannot trust her. You know, all the previous scenes were like, okay, I'm talk I'll talk about that later.
Oh, this is uh, one of the homo sapiens, isn't it? Is that the new show he is going for? Nah, all the cars here. Damn, he's. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. <laughs> Jupiter. <laughs> Damn, he's he's be he's becoming a poet now. Really? Oh, all right, that's why. Hmm. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> she made he made a little oil paka. Uh all right. Like, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, why? Uh, yeah, you should not trust the... Okay. Yeah. True. I, I was saying that. Like. Oh, here we go. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> what feeling? Yeah, you've never even met her. <laughs> oh God. Oh no! Yeah, yeah! Sh show, us, show us the profile! Oh my god, he must have done something there. Oh no, it'll break! Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's see his profile. Come on. He must have done something there, I'm sure about it. Yo! Oh, right, I guess. But the age gap, I don't know. Let's see. Wait, is this one of the idol girls? I'll have to check it out. The other girl. Wait, Gorik is missing? What is happening? Oh no. He's, he's probably getting... Um... This is suspicious? She might stab you with the... <laughs> Oh, okay, maybe not. I think he's just going to stab him with the umbrella or something. I don't know why I'm... All right. <laughs> Oh, okay. 
Oh no. I think I'm right. That must be one of the idol girls. I'll have to check. All right, I'm I'm going to check. Um her out, you know? I think she's okay, I'll, I'll check it out. All right, so this episode a few things that I had an initial um, what do you call it? Like I made a few conclusions in my mind before this episode, but a few of them kind of got shut down, and I know it's wrong. Uh, like so, after today's episode, I'll probably like think of a few more other theories, but I don't know. Like most of the things that I thought are kind of getting. Like, you know, in this episode, we can see that nothing's like that. The first thing is the whole thing with Dobu. Like, okay, let's... Is that the end? Yeah. Okay, so as I was saying, the uh, thing with Dobu. Uh, wait a minute, just a sec. Let me first check the idol girl out. Where is... I need to find one of her... Yeah, that's her. I think that's her. What was her name? Shiho or what? Yeah, that's her. That's definitely her. Let, let me just... Just a sec. Yeah, oh boy. It took me a little while to actually um you know be confirmed. But yeah, that's definitely her, especially her pattern, you know, her her pattern in her ear, this right side and the left side. It completely matches. So that's that's basically that girl. You know, the idol girl. Uh who is wearing a mask. Okay, and that's why she was saying, like, you know, I, I was busy with work, work being the idle work. Yeah, okay, that, like, that's out of the way now. So, alright, so let's talk about this episode. The first thing is uh, that kind of got, like, you know, like, I was wrong about is I was thinking, like, okay, Dobu is probably somehow involved in this. And, you know, the manager, he called Dobu and gave him, Do uh, like, you know, the actual, uh, like, I'm talking about the idle manager. You know, gave, gave him the look, location of Odokawa, you know, and Dobu found Odokawa by that. But that was not it. Like, you know, the person who the manager was talking with is someone else, that means. And the person who Dobu was talking to was this... I'm very bad with animals. I don't know what animal the, the, the boss is. Is he an... I'm sorry, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. I feel like if I don't know. I don't know what is that an anteater? You guys must must understand who I'm trying to like. You know who I'm talking about. The the boss guy who was like you know sitting in the uh, like you know massage chair and talking in her in his phone and Ag kind of mistook it. Uh, that guy. Anyways, like, you know, so the information he got was from this guy and he's the boss of him and like, you know, they are also trying to find the girl. So they have nothing to do with the girl. So that means that I was wrong, obviously, and a few other like, you know, things I thought about were all wrong, which related to that. I thought that Dobu and all of them had some kind of clue. That's why, like, you know, they're trying to find uh, Odokawa and like, you know, Odokawa has is being... Uh, also suspected but that's false and all that stuff so that's wrong dobu has nothing to do with it he's also trying to find the girl all right uh, so okay that was the first thing and all right this episode <laughs> the whole scene with ag and that guy who was in the massage chair oh my god <laughs> i i feel like I've, I've seen something like this before like you know like someone was actually where have i seen it like, you know, like talking in a, in, a, in a Bluetooth headset or something, like... 
think it's some in some kind of YouTube video or something. Like, and I cannot remember. But there's this guy or someone like you know who's talking in a, in a actually talking in his Bluetooth headset, and like you know he's saying something like I, I love you or something. And there's this another person sitting beside him. He thought he was talking with him. He said, Oh yeah, it's cool, man. Like I also love you. And he was looking at him like, What the hell are you saying? And then he shows that I'm I'm, I'm actually talking. And <laughs> I think it was some kind of meme or something, you know, like, uh, <laughs> most probably. <laughs> this thing was, that scene completely like, oh my god. <laughs> that was hilarious. I didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> anyways. Uh. <laughs> okay, and that and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, then we actually get to see what uh, you know the the guy was talking with, and he said something about Don Chan, like you know Don Chan's girl, and um, okay, and <clears throat> just a sec. Uh, all right, here it is. Here it is. I was trying, I'm trying to find out the portion where he, like you know, Dobu goes into the taxi and talks with Odokawa, and Odokawa asks, "Why are you so desperate to find this girl, Dobu?" <coughs> Just a sec. Okay, here it is. First, my boss is looking for the missing high school girl from Nerima. Why? Because she is the daughter of a classmate. I'm guessing this classmate that he's talking about is Don, you know, the guy he, you know, the boss was talking about, Don Chan. You know, Don Chan's girl. So he's saying that she's the daughter of a classmate. And, this, like, you know, uh, the classmate is Don Chan and that's her his daughter most probably. Okay, yeah, that like that got cleared out. So that's why they're trying to find her. <coughs> her. And uh, another thing that kind of got completely like you know, like I got like you know uh, this episode kind of changed my mind is the whole thing with the them actually Daimon and him actually working together. I thought they were working together because they like you know the diamond was also mixed up in this whole kidnapping case like you know like kidnapping the girl or something uh, and the girl is missing i thought that was what happened and <clears throat> so that's not what happened like they were basically exchanging information and that information was basically his dash cams the whole thing you know the whole thing that they exchanged so that was what it was like that's another mystery solved you know and okay another thing i have to check out here is when just a sec when uh the boss talks with uh dobu and when they were talking about the girl just a sec okay he it says something about um the investigation request was withdrawn. I heard about that from the older Daimon. Okay. He said that he they heard from the missing girl. No, apparently they received a message from her second hand. Alright. So the girl was not in contact. He she sent the message by via someone. That's why the investigation was stopped, I think okay and and there's another line this is another line he says that that said i'm allegedly the reason she ran away from home why is he the reason that's the big question here like he's supposed to be the you know the girl's uh, father's friend i don't know yeah like dobu asks him that what what's that about and he kind of like like, you know, like, does not talk about it. He says that he can investigate. All right. That is cleared up. And uh, it was kind of clever for Otokawa to do the whole SOS thing. But unfortunately, Daimon came and it was the older one. And he is probably, like, you know, really manipulating the younger brother. So, or who knows? Maybe the younger brother is kind of acting like a fool just to 
Rickham or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like this, this, this anime has such a mysterious vibe. Like it, it makes you actually question and suspect each and every character. Like I can, I kind of understand it like that. Like you know, like everything is kind of like a suspicion. I'm, I'm like, oh, is, is this what's happening or is this what's happening? Probably in the end, we'll see nothing like that is happening. Everything was like kind of, like you know. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. Mm. All right, and okay, that thing happens. Uh, the whole thing with Diamond, and just a sec. All right, and then he kind of threatens him, and like, first threaten threatens him to kill him, and when he sees that nothing's happening, he says that okay, like I'll target Shirakawa, uh, and that's when he kind he kind of like you know gets rattled, and he like you know says that okay, I'll do what you want. All right, and then comes the next portion. Here's the thing: um, the whole thing with Shirakawa. If you remember, I, you know, from the past couple of episodes, past two episodes, I have been saying something regarding that. Okay, maybe sh you know, Shirakawa kind of has something going on. She, I, I thought that maybe she does not like him, and she's kind of doing this to, I don't know, like, like tricking him to actually, like, you know, manipulate him into doing something or something like that. I thought. But this episode is kind of making me think otherwise because now I think that she really does like him. But I don't know, like you know, this as I said, like this this show is a show which kind of like makes you suspect each and every character. I feel I feel like every character has some kind of a secret hiding, and uh, like uh, even Odokawa, like I don't know, <laughs> like you know, the whole mysterious vibe is really done well. Like it, it, it makes you suspect each and every character. And I think the whole thing which actually is throwing me off is the scenes before we saw the first scene with the whole thing with um, the drugs going missing. That's one. Another one is the whole thing with um, like, you know, like it seems as if she was talking with Dobu. I'm not sure if that's her or there was some other like, you know, alpaca. <clears throat> Who knows? But these two scenes are kind of throwing me off. And another scene that's kind of throwing me off is her I think in the first episode she was actually looking at Goriki really sadly when Goriki was like you know doing his own job and she kind of looked at him sadly and went away that's why I in the, the initial impression of Mai was that she actually likes Goriki but then I got confused when she suddenly says that she likes Odokawa and that's why I was suspecting her I don't know like, you know, like, this is really, like, interesting to see because this episode, like, after seeing this episode, I really feel she really does like him. Otherwise, who would, like, you know, uh, remain in this place, like, you know, uh, uh, in the park uh, for so long? And, like, it, it was almost uh, in the morning when he, he came and she was waiting for him. That's one thing. Another thing that is kind of... <clears throat> Like, you know, making me re think that she really does like him is that the way she interacts with him, uh, it seems genuine, you know, like there does not seem to be any trickery involved. It seems really genuine the way she's talking with him, like, you know, freely and the way she in is interacting with him. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Uh, I really want to trust her, but everything like you know, like like in this, it's it's like a balance. Like you know, there's like a few things that kind of make me and uh, making me suspect her, and there's a few things that's making me not suspect her, and it's kind of in a balance. Like you know, I I I can't actually decide what she's trying to do, and if her feelings are really genuine or not. But so I'll still keep my like you know, <laughs> like decision at a hold. And I still am unable to say what she is like, you know, trying to do here. Is she really genuinely that she like him or is she just doing stuff like this for some of his own of her own goals? But this episode kind of convinced me that, yeah, she really probably likes him. Because as I said, like the main thing that really convinced me in this episode is, as I said, like the way she talks, it seems very genuine. Like, you know, I don't know, like the way she's interacting with him, it seems very genuine and who knows, like, you know, but yeah, but 
as much as I was suspecting her in the previous episode, I'm not now. Like, I feel like I need to see her for a couple of more episodes to actually think. And it's kind of leaning on the side that, yeah, she really likes him. So, yeah, let's just wait for it. <clears throat> and, uh, okay, and then in the next scene, okay, uh, all right, so the guy who was talking in the, the whole thing with what's for lunch thing, you know, this shown on showing on TV, that's one of the homo sapiens, isn't he? The one who got like, you know, a call and said that you have got, gotten selected. I think that's him. Yeah. Uh, most probably. But yeah, okay. Anyways, that's that. And then we get to the whole thing with Eiji and um, Odokawa. They kind of are like talking with each other and uh we genuinely see like that ozokawa is really like you know is really kind of liking shirakawa and it seems like uh, his feelings are kind of like you know change. like she, he said something like i don't know i have not like you know fallen in love before and i really don't know what it's about it's kind of like a foreign thing for me and but it seems like she he really is starting to like her that's why i like you know like if if it really turns out that shirakawa has been playing him or Shirakawa has been tricking him it'll be really sad and I'll feel very bad for like you know Odokawa because like Odokawa seems like a really genuine down-to-earth good dude and like, you know he does not deserve to get um tricked so but but as I said like you know like I think Shirakawa is genuine uh like you know after watching this episode so that might not be it but there's always that, that little chance but if it really turns out that she has been she has some kind of ulterior motive and she, like you know Odokawa kind of gets to know that <laughs> he'll be heartbroken completely and you know it, it'll be really sad to see that scene because as I said like it, it seems like he he really is genuinely starting to like her so I will feel really bad for him so I, I also don't want that. I want everything to go well by the end of it. Let's wait for it. Anyways, that's the whole thing with uh, Odokawa. You know, it's like a cute little story we're having. The thing with Eiji is I don't know. Like, you know, he, first of all, he has lied, number one, in his profile. And who knows? But let's see. Like, you know, let's wait for it. And let's see what happens by the end of it and obviously we can see like you know the, the scene when uh, the girl says that like I finished work and let's meet up and they meet up the scene was really suspicious first of all it was like a horror scene happening like you know she was like in the darkness and she was like oh you've come come here i was thinking oh my god she's holding a, an umbrella or something like who knows maybe there's some kind of a crazy girl like with an umbrella and she, she's probably going to stab him or something <laughs> like, like the, the whole setting was kind of like a horror uh, anime setting but then like you know like he comes out uh, she comes out of the darkness and they talk and it seems like she really is interested i don't know so yeah and then they meet and then they go but there are two people following them one of them is obviously the manager and another one is a person we've never seen before and uh, like that kind of gave it away that this guy this girl is one of the idol girls so i'm guessing like like always there's this whole thing with uh, you know idols like they should not get into relationships and stuff like that you know if fans get to know that like it'll be a disaster so they usually keep it under like you know keep it, keep it a secret even if the idols are dating someone they try to keep it a secret and so that scandals don't happen all that stuff but yeah but like you know i'm guessing is that the reason why they're following her who knows like here's another mystery that is kind of coming out like the whole mystery with what these two like you know the manager actually wants with them and why like you know uh and it's a girl, like, you know, it's an idol girl, really genuinely, like, you know, like, I don't know. Because, as I said, like, you know, as Odokawa said, that are you sure you're not getting tricked or something? So that's one thing I'm thinking about. But who knows? Like, let's wait for it. And I'm sure we'll get our answers. So yeah, that was it. That was a great episode, I have to say. Like, you know, so there was a lot of things. 
and uh, yeah a lot of my initial impressions kind of changed you know my initial what do you call it uh, things i thought that the way it will go has kind of changed and there are a few new things that's kind of going on on my head <laughs> let's see if it like you know if, if my suspicions are correct or not so yeah one thing as i said like one thing i really do not want is shirakawa be like you know lying you know like i feel like shirakawa is being genuine but if she is not if she has some kind of ulterior motive or something and if she's tricking odokawa it'll be sad you know like i don't want odokawa going through that like he is he seems like a really genuinely good guy uh what can i say like you know a very kind-hearted down-to-earth person so yeah he'll be dev devastated if something like that really happens i, I think I'm, a, I'm 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 distrusting shirakawa a bit too much but i don't know like i i still have this kind of thing going in on my head I'm sorry if I'm like you know uh, like if it really turns out in the end that yeah she was a genuinely nice girl and all the time I've been suspecting her like I feel like a really bad person but like you know this, this anime is not making it any easy it's it's trying to make us like you know suspect every character especially like you know Shirakawa and I don't know I'm kind of uh, anyways uh, like that's enough <laughs> I'm sure we'll get more answers. So yeah, guys, that was it. That was my reaction to Odd Taxi episode number three. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Odd Taxi. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.